Today we're going to be sharing our favorite homemade salsa and guacamole recipes and we're going to do a taste test to see which one is better. You may have seen that we've been posting polls on the community tab on our channel daily for the last couple weeks and three days ago we posted a poll, which one is better, salsa or guacamole? And you guys voted and the winner officially is salsa. But today we're putting that to the test because we've got our favorite homemade salsa and our favorite homemade guac and we're gonna taste them and tell you which one is better. That's right, so we actually usually go ahead and vote as well. And I think we both voted for guacamole. I did. So we decided, you know what? We're gonna get our favorite guacamole and salsa and actually test this and see if we lied or not. So that's what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. um, we make salsa every summer. We use fresh garden tomatoes and other things from our garden and some store-bought stuff. And it is amazing. This is my favorite salsa ever from anything I've ever tasted at a restaurant or store-bought. So this is gonna be a good taste test. Our guacamole is also handmade. We just made this a little bit ago, so it's totally fresh with avocado. I think we've got some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some lime juice. So we made that up and we're gonna test it and see which one we like better. So in the poll that we posted, salsa won 59% to guacamole's 41%. We're gonna continue to post these every day with different food items, different restaurants. So go get involved, vote on our community tab. It's fun to see what everyone thinks about different foods. All right, well, let's dig into these. But before that, just wanna let you guys know that you can find recipes for each of these down in the description. So if you wanna try it out yourself and make some, go for it. I'll tell you, the salsa is a bit of a challenge. That's quite the process. The guacamole is much easier. Yeah. So if we do end up liking the guacamole better, then definitely go try that out. All right, well, let's just grab a chip and dig into one of these. Should we start the salsa? I think so. I'm gonna stir it so that we get some liquidies and some chunkies. Because <laughs> I don't like to get all liquidies yeah, this, in my salsa. This is a bit more liquidy. And when we make this stuff, we use all kinds of different tomatoes. We've got like mm. sweet cherry tomatoes, celebrity, hybrid, early girl. So we kind of use a mix and having the sweet ones in there is really nice. You don't even Man. have to add sugar to it. <clears throat> that is really good salsa. The best thing about it is the complexity of all the flavors. You can taste so many different mm -hmm. tomatoes and veggies and yep. there's even a little bit of spice. Yeah, it does. I was gonna say it does have a little bit of spice. Um, we do put some jalapenos in there, but not it too could, much at it, all. Yeah, it could have some more. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent salsa. That is going to be hard to beat. And it's one of my very favorite snacks. I'll go weeks eating that every single day. Yeah, or months or years. So. <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> months on end. We store up quite a bit of that when we make it in the summer. There's enough for us to eat basically for a whole year. Mm -hmm. And then summer rolls around and we make some more, so I'm eating it quite often. How about but this? We did both vote on the poll that we like guacamole better. So we're about to find out I if know. that's actually true. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just because mm -hmm. it's just like so creamy and I don't know what I it is, but. That's what it is for me. The texture is amazing. It's so creamy and I'm not gonna lie, this is room temperature guac and cold salsa. So I'm definitely liking the coldness of the salsa better, mm -hmm. but I'm trying mm -hmm. not to let that affect it. <laughs> because You're a big temperature. Yes, temperature guy. is very important to me. Yeah, to me it doesn't matter. I could eat that stuff warm and be just as good. There's something about avocados too. Avocado. They're so unique. I think they're a superfood mm. and just super tasty. I mean, how do you get something that creamy without like adding dairy or something? You can get all kinds of, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. You can get all kinds of different like avocado type foods. I think there's, I don't think there's an avocado milk, but I, there's avocado ice cream. I think we actually tried that once. Mm -hmm. So they do use avocados for all kinds of different foods, but this one in its almost purest form is extremely good. You know what though? I think I may have lied on our poll. <laughs> this salsa is really good. <laughs> it is so good that I think I have to change my vote. I'll do it right now on our community <laughs> tab. My vote is now on salsa. So this is what I'm thinking. I could eat this every single day, but if I were just to have an option one day of which one I would pick, I would mm. probably pick this and maybe it's because I don't eat it every day. Yeah. That is something more special. True. As far as which one I would have more often, it's definitely gonna be the salsa. Am well, I changing my vote? So what's your official vote on? And you know what? This guac is really good, but I think I've had better guacs before. It is a pretty simple recipe. Mm -hmm. You can get some that's good, that have like tomatoes and I'm not even sure what else, but a little more complex yeah, than this. Yeah, there's definitely been some guacamoles that I've had at restaurants that have been better than this. Yeah. So maybe we need to compare this salsa 
to a different guac because this is definitely the real deal. All right, I'll put my official vote in as salsa. Oh, okay. We both lied on our own poll. So sorry about that, guys. When I was looking at the picture, it just looked like I would like the guacamole better. That, that might have been partly uh, what I did as well. So I guess next time, before you vote on our next poll, which will be out tomorrow and today right. and for the last couple of weeks if you haven't voted on them, yep. you have to go and do your own taste test before you vote or else you might be wrong like we were. <laughs> That's right. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave it a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. See ya.